Mary Brown gained fame by being on the TV show Sister Wives with her husband Cody Brown and sister wives Janelle Christine and Robin Brown. However, things took a surprising turn for the family that aimed to showcase polygamy when in 2010 Cody Brown's three original wives decided to end their marriages to him. Mary, despite being estranged from Cody for several years, was the last to announce her divorce, revealing the news publicly in January 2023. This announcement came a month after Janelle's separation and 14 months after Christine left the polyamorous marriage. Mary Brown chose to break away from the sister wives world by officially moving to Parowin, Utah, where she already managed her bed and breakfast, Lizzie's Heritage Inn, and operated her LuLaRoe clothing business. Since parting ways with Cody, Mary appears to have found success in both her ventures and seems genuinely happy, living a life free from the drama of her previous marriage. Besides focusing on her businesses, she also ventured back into the dating world. On her birthday in January 2024, she shared news of a new romantic relationship, giving fans insights into Mary Brown's current love life. Mary Brown took to Instagram and shared several photos, revealing that she had been dating her boyfriend, known as Amos, since October 2023. In her post, she mentioned that he's not tall or a pilot, but they share a love for Christmas and enjoy laughing together, which she considers important in a relationship. Mary also shared that her rescue dog, Zona, seemed to really like her new boyfriend. She admitted feeling nervous about announcing the relationship, but decided that her birthday was the right time to share the news. In her post, she expressed how she had kept their relationship private as they enjoyed the past few months of dating and getting to know each other. However, with her birthday being a special occasion, she felt it was the perfect time to celebrate and let her followers join in the excitement. Although Mary Brown was excited to share news of her new relationship, stories about Amos Andrews started circulating, including reports that he had been married four times. The details of Andrews' marriages unfolded, starting with his first marriage to Tracy Smith Lang. Their marriage ended in divorce in 1994, and they had two children together, a son named Cody and a daughter named Christina. His second marriage to Shannon Marie Martin took place in Las Vegas in 1995 when she was 18 and he was 26. After having a daughter named Tiffany, they divorced in 2000. Andrews married Christine Andrews in 2002 in Arizona, but their marriage ended in 2004. His fourth marriage was to Jennifer Andrews in 2016, concluding in 2021 with a divorce citing irreconcilable differences. The divorce proceedings, which were swiftly granted, also revealed details about Andrew's finances contributing to the negative attention surrounding him since his relationship with Mary Brown became public. Amos Andrews, aside from having multiple marriages, also faced financial challenges, especially during his second marriage to Shannon Marie Martin. The couple filed for Chapter 7 bankruptcy in Phoenix, Arizona in 2000, a form of bankruptcy requiring the sale of assets to repay debts. Martin was discharged on September 8, 2000, while Andrew's case closed on September 26. Although he didn't file for bankruptcy again, documents from his fourth divorce with Jennifer Andrews in 2021 revealed he had accumulated over $1.20,000 in debt at the time of their marriage dissolution. Amos Andrews had $1.17 through $72 in personal credit card debt, including $3.657 on a Caesars Rewards credit card. Additionally, joint debt with his ex-wife held him responsible for an extra $3.470.50, bringing the total to $2.482.50. The documents also disclosed a personal injury settlement, of which he was required to pay 50% to Jennifer Andrews, although the specific amount was not disclosed. Amos Andrews, a father of three, faced accusations of not paying the child support owed to his second wife, Shannon Marie Martin, with whom he shares a daughter named Tiffany. According to documents obtained by the son, Andrews was supposed to pay $373 a month in child support starting from February 1, 2001 until Tiffany's 18th birthday or under certain legal conditions. However, in August 2013, Martin took Andrews to court to modify the agreement claiming he had not consistently made payments from the time of divorce in 2001 until his wages were garnished in 2008. 
She alleged that Andrews was difficult to reach and accused him of refusing to contribute to expenses for Tiffany's daycare, medical needs, and education. Martin stated that she had covered all costs, including extracurricular activities, medical appointments, braces, glasses, and contacts for their daughter, without his assistance. Andrews, in turn, had filed his own request to modify, seeking a complete stop to payments due to a three-month period when Tiffany lived with him. He also accused Martin of causing financial issues by freezing his accounts, a claim she denied. Mary Brown didn't disclose how she met Amos Andrews, but one of his ex-wives suspects that he may have found a way to secretly arrange their introduction because he was obsessed with meeting reality stars from the shows he watched. In an interview with The Sun, the anonymous ex-wife shared that Andrews watched Sister Wives when they lived in Las Vegas, expressing a desire to find where the Brown family lived. She mentioned his fondness for the Real Housewives series as well, saying, he's kind of fangirl obsessed. He would love to run into people like that. The ex-wife also revealed that when they lived in California, he would try to locate the houses of the Real Housewives in Coto de Casa. She speculated that Andrews might have orchestrated a way to meet Mary Brown, especially after she moved to Parowan, Utah to manage Lizzie's Heritage Inn, which was just a few hours away from his residence in Salt Lake City. According to the ex-wife, I wouldn't be surprised if he took his ex to the bed and breakfast just to run into her to make that chance encounter. An ex-wife of Amos Andrews, speaking to The Sun, raised concerns about his intentions in dating Mary Brown, suggesting he might be seeking personal gain. She described Andrews as opportunistic, highlighting that he had held multiple jobs during their marriage. She wasn't aware of his current activities and expressed uncertainty about his motives. According to the ex-wife, Andrews might view Mary Brown as an opportunity, especially considering her history with Cody Brown. She remarked, I think he just looks at the opportunity. I think he's really opportunistic in looking into someone that's been in a relationship that maybe didn't get the attention. And he comes in and provides all that attention and seems like this knight on a white horse. She further accused him of being narcissistic, controlling, and prone to extreme jealousy, citing her own experiences. Surprisingly, she mentioned being surprised that Andrews dated someone as high-profile as Mary Brown, as he typically preferred to keep a low profile. In response to the negative reports surrounding Amos Andrews, Mary Brown swiftly defended him during an Instagram Live session for her Fridays with Friends segment. She introduced Andrews personally to her followers and, while chatting with him and her best friend, addressed the stories circulating about him, emphasizing that she, too, was not perfect. Brown took a stand, informing her fans that although Andrews had a less-than-ideal history, it didn't define who he was now, and that was what mattered to her. In her defense, she also brought up her own past, mentioning her history of bankruptcy and emphasized the importance of moving forward. She stated, you just build your way out of it. It doesn't matter what happened to you in your past. Who you are now is what matters and how you act on it. When the topic of ex-wives arose, Andrews mentioned having three, to which Brown playfully responded that she beat him since she had one ex-husband and three ex-sister wives. Mary Brown's close friend, Jen Sullivan, who assists her in managing Lizzie's heritage in, appears to be fully supportive of Mary's new relationship with Amos Andrews. Sullivan initially expressed excitement when Brown first announced she was dating someone eagerly anticipating the post. During an Instagram Live session, Sullivan conveyed her support to Andrews while also giving him a heads up about the challenges of public scrutiny that often come with a relationship involving a public figure. With a touch of humor, Sullivan stated, Amos, first, I would like to officially welcome you to the land of no privacy where anything that is said, thought, assumed, or insinuated about you can and will be held against you in the court of public opinion and may be highlighted on social media and in poorly written articles full of half-truths, lies, and straight-up bullshit. Hope you're ready. Despite Mary Brown's new relationship becoming a headline-worthy moment, only Christine Brown from the Brown family has publicly addressed the topic. In an interview with People, Christine shared her happiness for Mary despite not currently having a relationship with her. She expressed, I'm just happy for her. So happy for her. That is absolutely awesome. I'm just thrilled for her to be able to be in a romantic relationship.
Janelle Brown has not spoken publicly about Mary's new relationship and Robin Brown has been inactive on social media. Cody Brown, despite being vocal about Christine's new marriage on the show, has not made any public comments about Mary's relationship. Additionally, Mary's only child, Leon Brown, has not spoken out about their mom's new relationship, maintaining a generally private stance on family dynamics on social media. Mary Brown and Cody Brown share a child, Leon Brown, which means they will always have a connection and need to navigate their relationship carefully. This may require a delicate balance between her ex-husband and her new partner. In addition to their shared child, Cody has expressed a desire to maintain friendships with his former wives, including Mary. He emphasized the importance of forgiveness and understanding in their relationships, stating, You have to express understanding and hope that at the end of an era for us as a family, we still have hope of a friendship and a loving or kind relationship with each other in the future because we're bound forever through our kids. This situation could potentially become challenging for Mary if she finds herself in a situation where her ex-husband and new partner must interact and things are not cordial. They're not cordial.